A meat cleaver as a weapon. Tonight we're getting our first look at the man accused of this. It happened over the weekend. Police tell us he attacked two people apparently over a workplace feud. ABC 15's Brian Webb is live at the 4th Avenue Jail where he's being held. And Brian, uh, you were saying authorities consider him a flight risk? Yes, because he's not a U.S. citizen and police say he tried to avoid arrest after the attack. An attack that happened allegedly because he blames a co-worker for getting him fired. This is the initial court appearance for suspect Ki Trong, accused of beating a man and woman nearly to death. No, there were just police all over the place. There was a lot of them. The crime scene, this West Valley apartment complex, Saturday afternoon. Police say Trong entered uninvited, instantly attacking the woman and her friend. Neighbors call the scene frightening and bloody. Comes out running, like gushing blood from his hand and like his head and everything was just bleeding. And he was like stopping cars, like screaming help. He tried to stop the wounds, you know, I mean, they were trying to stop and they were hitting their forearms and that when he was swinging at him. He must have been nuts. Police say the victim was upset that he'd recently lost his job here at this supermarket where the three of them worked and felt the victims had something to do with it. Court papers show that before the attack, Chong warned his co-worker that he would kill her if she didn't stop talking about him at work. He apparently made good on his threat, allegedly beating the woman within inches of her life. Pray for him every day. I mean, I hope they recover and eventually be able to deal with something like this. The woman who was attacked in critical condition at last check with life-threatening injuries. The man is in serious condition. Trong is charged with burglary and first-degree murder. Live in downtown Phoenix, I'm Brian Webb, ABC 15 News. Police